Let's create an inconsistent pattern in Illustrator. I gotta select the circle, press and hold shift plus R to create a circle. I gotta select the direct selection tool, delete the right anchor point, press on delete. Let's go to the properties and click on join. Now the paths from the half circle got joined. I gotta press and hold R, drag it to the left. Also press shift to isolate. I gotta leave a distance in between, press and hold shift and rotate to the opposite side. Select both, right click group. So the main point for this form is to fit in a perfect square. So this won't fit because we added some distance in between. So I'm gonna select rectangle, press and hold shift. I'm gonna go some like this and you can see we got some part left out. I'm gonna select both, go to the properties, align it perfectly to the center. I'm gonna scale it, select both, press Shift plus M, or you can select the Shape Builder tool here, press and hold Alt. I'm gonna click on this line and on this line, so this way it's gonna delete them. This way it fits into a perfect square, so I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it. To the right, also press Shift to isolate, and now I'm gonna press and hold Shift, rotate 90 degrees, and it fits perfectly. Great, I'm gonna copy paste this, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right. I'm gonna press Press and hold out to drag this under. Right now, I'm gonna eyeball it. Make sure that these guys align perfectly on the left. Now I'm gonna press and hold Alt, create a copy here. I'm gonna press and hold Shift, rotate 90 degrees, right click on group, and I'm gonna select the right one, press and hold Shift, rotate. I'm gonna select both, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, press and hold Shift, rotate. And we are starting to create an inconsistent pattern. I'm gonna also copy paste this one. I also gonna copy paste the circles. Oh, check that out. And now I'm gonna put these in the opposite direction. Let me see, so it needs to be perfectly aligned also on the right. Great, I gotta select the rectangle, press and hold shift, and I gotta create a perfect rectangle so I can see where they end. So we're gonna need to fit in a little bit more. I gotta select a gray color for this, right click, arrange center back, and I gotta group these together, right click, group, and I also gonna group these, right click, group, and also the top ones. And now I got I'm gonna reposition this until they intersect perfectly inside. I'm gonna select all the shapes, go to the properties, go to the dots here, and click on vertical distribute center. Remove the background. You also can recolor them if you like. I'm gonna right click and group right now and make it monochrome. And we're gonna go to the object pattern and click on make. And look at that. All we need to do is leave some distance in between the width and the height. In my situation, 247.5. I gotta do the same thing with the height. 0.5 and I'm gonna go up here click on done delete this one and I'm gonna select the rectangle and here we got in the swatch the new pattern and just drag a rectangle and here you got the new pattern and this was it thanks for watching